everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank, and today I am checking out the DXA preamplifier for the Alexa Mini. This is a new product from Beach Tech, and this kit is specific to the Alexa Mini. Of course, we could use this preamplifier with different types of cameras, but today we're going to look at the kit specific to the Mini. The Alexa Mini has offered up some challenges to us in terms of audio because there is a mini 5-pin connector on the front of the camera and it takes line level in. So the challenge was always getting the different mic levels or different types of microphones and getting that sound into the camera. Well, this box alleviates that and allows us the opportunity to use uh, all types of different microphones to get very high quality audio into the camera. But before I go into the particulars of how this is built, I want to talk about physically placing it onto the Alexa Mini. Now, right now I have it mounted at the back of the camera. I have MAP2 brackets top and bottom. On the bottom one, I brought the 15 millimeter rods out, extended up to the back. I have a D box and then I have uh, my DXA. I've attached it using a wooden camera 15 millimeter uh, light rod, lightweight rod adapter. And then I have these, uh, I have the post and an extension post attaching it to this. I would not need this attachment or this extension post. If I wanted, I could take that out and drop it down a little lower. In addition, if you want to mount the uh, box up here or on the assistant side of the camera, there is a bracket available. This uh, has self-retaining screws on the bottom to hold the preamp in place. And on the back, there are two slots to hold 3816 tie down screws. There's also tap holes at the top and in the centers that will allow you to attach a V-lock. So you could, for example, uh, use a Cameo V-lock from Able City and clip it in and clip it out as needed. You know, the idea here is that we realize that everyone's situation is slightly different. Everyone needs to build this uh, preamplifier to the camera in different places for different situations. I wanted to take a moment to show you what is included in the kit for the Alexa Mini. Inside you'll find a one sheet that shows you builds on the Airy Mini cage and on the back are the technical specifications for the preamp. Inside is the preamp itself. I'll show you a close up of this, but I just wanted to note that the uh, knobs here that control the uh, level of the recording are actually detents. So as you turn this, you can feel these little uh, indentations as it rolls. And very helpful if you don't have line of sight to the uh, control itself, you can use that to feel the uh, progression of the uh, level changing. You also have the bracket that we used for side mount and for the top mount configuration. And on top of that are uh, tap holes. As you saw, we can uh, mount the airy top handle to that. It's important to note that the cables for power and for the uh, distribution of the audio signals are not included. Uh, this is an a la carte item because uh, not only are different builds for the Alexa uh, unique, also this preamp can be used with other camera builds. So just important to keep in mind uh, when you're going to purchase this to keep the cable requirements in mind as they will be a la carte. I have the box mounted onto the back of the uh, Mini, and so the only thing facing the operator is the power switch. And as you can see, once I push in, you get a nice bright green indicator uh, that the unit is powered up, and when you go to power off, it goes red and then goes black. So we turned around the DXA and now we're looking at the other side opposite from the power switch. On the bottom left, we have our power input from 11 to 18 volts uh, with a two pin connector. And right next to it is a three and a half millimeter socket. It says mic out. The idea of this is that we could put an adapter cable in here and run this to another external mini recorder. Uh, if you have something like a non-sync recorder, you just wanna make a redundancy for transcoding, things of that nature. Uh, you have the capability of this output right there. Above it is the five pin for the line out. This is what is gonna go into the Alexa Mini. We are making different cables from this, uh, or cables for this connector rather. So it 
doesn't work exclusively with the Alexa Mini. Uh, it could also work with RED cameras, for example. Above that are your microphone inputs. Now, we can't take one input and put it on both channels, or we can have two discrete uh, inputs and have those recorded. I'll show you how that is set up when we look at the uh, control pots on the top of this box. And then we have the phone jack. This allows us to monitor the audio uh, that is in or coming, being created by the preamps. Remember that the Alexa Mini has no return audio on it, so our monitoring is from the preamp on this box. However, if you were to use this box with a camera that did have a headphone jack, for example, we could patch into the return, and with a toggle switch at the top, we could then listen to uh, audio at the preamp and then return from camera. So I plugged in a microphone into input number one, channel one, and I'm going to turn phantom power on. And I'm going to roll this up. And now you should start to see here that I have a level. I'm going to take the gain down low. It's one of the nice uh, ways that this has been engineered is that you can use these diodes right here to see your audio level. I'm going to roll this up a little bit. And each of these pots that controls your audio level has a detent on it. So as you can see, as I roll up here, I'm going to start hitting the red, or go into yellow. I might hit the red a little bit. That's a visual indicator that you are uh, exceeding levels, acceptable levels on your audio. Now I'm going to roll this back a little bit, and I can hear a noticeable change in the uh, level here because I just changed the gain. And up we go a little bit. You can see start to pin every once in a while. So I've taken two microphones and I put them in. So I'm going to go to channel one and I roll up. Okay, there's my level on channel one. And now I'm going to bring in channel two. And there's channel two. So I have noticed I have it in S mode right now. So if I tap on my microphones, you can hear respectively that they occupy uh, discrete channels. Now I'm going to change the mode and I put it into M mode and now okay both mics now share are, are on both channels. So as you can see a lot of ways to uh, come up with different scenarios for recording audio. That wraps up my look at the DXA Alexa preamp for the Alexa Mini from Beach Tech. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.